guys, so I just wanted to show you a project that I've been working on recently. And um, what it is, is it's just this, um, I'm not sure how good you can see it, but it's just this, you know, makeshift miniature bookshelf that I made out of air dry clay. And um, I had this idea of making this like, um, like alchemy, um, like alchemy cabinet type thing. I don't know, I've seen a couple of these on YouTube and I thought they were really cool. So I just thought I might want to see what I can, you know, come up with. And this is using um, air dry clay and it's very detailed on the, if you can see that on the shelves and then around the, uh, the bag, along the sides. Um, the air dry clay I used is this um, this air dry clay that I got from Walmart, and it's not the best. Um, I've had this one for a long, long time. It's the um, I forget who it's by, but let me see. So move that out of the way really quick. So this is the air dry clay. It's um, air dry modeling clay, easy to shape, no oven or, you know, kiln needed. Um, when I first got this, I was like, oh, this is kind of, you know, it's kind of cool. But when I actually started using it, um, I, it it's not my favorite um, clay to use. I'm, I like the the Sculpey 3 and the, and the um, you know, like just the oven baked clay, I think, a little bit more than this. Maybe I'll have to try a different brand of um, air dry clay, but this is what I've um, used to make that little cabinet there. Okay, so my next step is I'm just going to use some of my um, acrylic paint here um, to go ahead and just paint it and give it like a, a wooden look. I have this um, golden brown and then I have this um, melted chocolate and then I have this little pot here which has like a, a chocolate color that's a little bit um, I'm not sure you can see it but it's a little bit lighter than this chocolate I apologize about the lighting it's dark outside so I have my um, my IKEA lamp over here and it's like one of the adjustable ones so it's like up really high so it kind of is casting off the shadow but yes yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and paint this and I'm gonna try to give it um, try to give it like a worn, um, wood look. Hopefully it turns out okay. I'll definitely show you guys my, um, finished product. So right now I'm just painting the, um, golden brown color on there. Let's see if I can get this a little bit better. There you go. So I'm just going through and painting it with the water out of the way. Um, yeah, so... It's getting there. I'm going to see if I can fix this lighting, but yeah, so right now I'm painting it the golden brown. And then I'll go through and I'll add some details using the other brown color. Hi everyone, so I'm back. I finally finished painting my um, sh cabinet here, shelves or cabinet, whatever you want to call it. Um, I apologize. I apologize. <laughs> I can't talk. I mean Skittles, but I apologize about the lighting. Um, the sun has now gone down, so my room is really dark. I have both my light on, and it's still, you know, yeah, so I apologize about the light, but really quickly, I just wanted to show you how it turned out. So actually, this might be better. Okay. So this is how it looks. I'm not sure if you can see the details because of the lighting, but I really like how it turns out. I used three different kinds of brown paints that I have and it really makes all the texture texturing that I did really stand out and yeah it looks amazing. So I'm really excited and um all of this was done with that air dry clay and um I see a few spots I need to probably paint a little bit better but I did it in pieces, so um, they were all separate pieces, and then I just took my E6000 glue after they had dried. I let them dry um, a good 24 hours, maybe a little bit more, 
And then um, the thing about the air dry clay is when you do pieces that are like flat, like this, they tend to um, like I don't know how how to explain it. Like not buckle, but they tend to like bend. So they're not like really like flat, flat. They tend to bend. So. I had to lay them flat and then put something on top of them so that they would, you know, be flat. So it's kind of leaning, excuse me, it's kind of leaning a little bit, but it's not overly bad. But yeah, so um, they're all done in separate pieces. Um, I just measured everything out and I glued everything together with E6000 glue. Um, I like how some of it looks like uneven. I don't know, I think it just gives it character. But I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. So what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to make this into like a, a, like a two-part series, maybe three parts. And I'm going to show you, um, you know, once I start making things to fill in the shelves. I think I'm going to do like a tutorial, um, like part two tutorial on, you know, all the little things that um, I made to go in here. And show you what I'm making because I'm thinking about doing some potions. Um, I have some little books and scrolls that I made um, out of the air dry clay that I'm going to paint and put in here. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to glue everything down. I might just leave it so it's like you know rearrangeable so that way you know, if I want to change how everything looks once I get it in there, I can do that. But um, but yeah. So